I was walking a path that was not mine and I was searching for something I could not find. Faye was dim away, an older woman who lived in the same town where my mother grew up. I didn't know her, but I was invited with, to join with a group of seven or eight other women who were interested in taking their first steps on their traditional path. Faye was Anishinaabe Kwe, and she took us under her wing and taught us what she knew. I remember she started with the directions, the colors, and the spirit helpers, and she drilled us every week, and she wouldn't teach us any more until we could remember what she'd already taught. From her, we learned about creation, the ancestors, the medicines, when to use them and how to harvest them. She became our kokum, our teacher, and our friend. I still remember the day I told her how much I missed the music that surrounded me when I was a child. And she said, girl, get yourself a drum, keywagon, and learn the songs. It sounded simple, but it wasn't that easy. I'd been to powwows and the Friendship Center, but I was an outsider. I was sitting on the outside looking in. I couldn't just walk up to a stranger and ask for teachings. I didn't know the protocol. I didn't even know where to start. My grandparents never told us about our native heritage. Perhaps they never knew or they were too angry or afraid to talk about it. My grandma talked about her ancestors, but she was gone for many years before I discovered that some of those ancestors were Anishinaabe. She wasn't here to pass along what she knew about the teachings, the traditions, or the language to me, Kiwesis, her granddaughter. Then one day, in a casual conversation, a woman told me she had a kawagan, and she knew the songs. So my sister and I drove to Ottawa, and we learned our first songs. We sang them over and over and over, and soon we were able to join in with other singers and learn more songs. And we brought them all back to sing for Kokum Fay. That was 20 years ago. Kokum Fay walks the sky path of the ancestors now. She's probably sitting with her parents and our grandparents watching over us still. But when I pick up my drum, she's there beside me. When I sing to my grandchildren, she sings with me. She's still teaching me the ways of the ancestors, our ancestors, whose blood is also my blood. Konagania.